Религии запрещают обращение к магии. Почему? Religions forbid turning to magic. Why? Good question. Длинно на него придется ответить. It probably needs a long answer. Но я постараюсь покороче. But I will try to keep it short. Дело в том, что The fact is that in order to understand why religion prohibits magic, as well as divination, sorcery and all existing manifestations of magic, one must first understand what religion is. No matter how we choose to define it, it would never explain this one particular effect. Why are they so stubbornly against magic? But if we break down these two concepts of magic and religion, we might get closer to understanding why one hates the other. So, religion is a structured system and an egregorial system. It is quite a strong system, capable of creating a certain form of order from a number of chaotic emanations. According to its principles, according to its rules, according to its traditions, but a certain form of order nonetheless. Since every religion is an unnatural and artificial formation, it must fight for its survival. Because only something natural has a natural power source, something that is artificial has no power source. Respectively, it is in need of those who have access to these power sources, the elements, biological power, which means people and everything that lives. Animals do not perceive religion. That wouldn't work. Only human beings perceive it. Therefore, it is a battle for adepts. People are the main source of chaos, because their rate of unpredictability is indeed quite big. Respectively, if religion would be able to insert a certain matrix into the consciousness, a structure that would be transforming the chaos of the external and internal world within the consciousness of each person, automatically and without any additional control from the main religious system, then the function of religion could not only be considered as fulfilled, but as exponentially multiplying. What does magic do in contrast to this? Magic introduces such injections, such algorithms, that are able to bring about changes to any structure, able to identify the vulnerability of the structure on one hand, and on the other hand to introduce such injections when ignoring and silencing a vulnerability has become impossible. Respectively, the structure starts to crack, to break. It stops being wholesome and ceases to fulfill its function. And no religion, as you understand, will welcome such injections, especially since it is artificially formed. A natural formation would have said, give me more. You're like, like, like a quality checker to me. The more mistakes you find, the stronger I get. An artificial system would clearly not say so, because it is artificial. It is like mistletoe, and it actually has no right to live off of natural systems. It does so only because it has been voluntarily accepted for the time being. Every injection is a threat to its existence, as they might stop to voluntarily accept its presence. So therefore, these injections are fought against. Any religion fights injections, because injections are something that can change it. Magic is the only power that is equal or higher than any religion. Magic with all its manifestations, sorcery, wizardry and so on. Respectively, due to all these reasons, all religions forbid magic, fortune-telling and sorcery, unless it is authorized by religion itself. When it is a priest that hexes, for example, or does exorcisms, then it's good. If it is a village sorcerer, then it is bad. If it is a prophet that prophesizes, it is good. If it is a fortune teller, then it's bad. And so on. It means that all will depend on the authorization. It all depends on how well did the religion prepare for this particular injection. This is in fact the reason why it is forbidden. Magic provokes religion. 
Magic is able to destroy religion and religion knows this very well because magic will highlight all vulnerabilities. Magic will introduce such injections, find such holes that could have been hidden or went unnoticed for many thousands of years. But it is like, you know, a certain spot you can press and it triggers everything at once, such as the resonance system and the system of material fatigue, it all gets triggered, all converging to one point. It all collapses with only a single right push, one and done, nothing left. And magic is that one power that not only sees this point of vulnerability, but is also able to press it.